The following is a demonstration of Reed's 5401 TMSO threading machine with self-oiler. The oil pump on the 5401 TMSO threading machine is self-priming. Customers really like the Reed 5401 threading machine. It's the durability of it, the reliability, uh, the automatic oiling, uh, the compactness of it, so it has a smaller footprint, and it can be used both in plant or job site. Begin by inserting the pipe through the front or rear of the machine. If the pipe is short, insert it into the front of the machine. If inserted from the rear, make certain that the pipe is centered in the centering device and lightly tighten the centering device. The rear centering device is for alignment purposes only. If the pipe extends five feet or more past the end of the device, a pipe support is required. Tighten the chuck jaws with a counterclockwise snap spin of the hand wheel. Two times is enough. This hammering action tightens the jaws on the pipe. A clockwise rotation snap spin releases the jaws. To cut the pipe, be sure the reamer and threader tools are in the up and out of the way position. Turn the reverse off forward switch to the forward position and step on the foot switch to operate the machine. Move the pipe cutter down onto the pipe and using the carriage hand wheel, line up the cutter wheel with the section of pipe to be cut. Tighten the cutter T-handle on the pipe. Continuously turn the cutter T-handle with both hands until the pipe is cut off. Return the pipe cutter to the up and out of the way position. Release the foot switch and turn the switch to the off position. To ream the pipe, move the reamer arm down into the reaming position. Extend the reamer by pressing the latch and sliding the knob toward the pipe until the latch engages the bar. Turn the switch to the forward position and press the foot switch. Turn the hand wheel and briefly engage the reamer in the pipe. Retract the reamer bar and return the reamer to the up and out of the way position. Release the foot switch and turn the switch to the off position. Remember to always ream the pipe prior to threading. To thread the pipe, begin by installing the proper size die set. The R811 universal die head requires one set of universal dies to thread an eighth inch, quarter to three eighths inch, half to three quarter inch, and one to two inch pipe. With the cutter and reamer in the up and out of the way position, lower the die head into the threading position. Make sure the throw out lever is in the closed position. Select the pipe size to be threaded by using the sizing bar on top of the die head. Turn the switch to the forward position and step on the foot switch. Engage the dies with the pipe using the carriage hand wheel, keeping slight pressure until the dies have started engagement. When the thread is complete, raise the throw out lever to the open position, retracting the dies on the universal die head. Move the carriage away from the pipe end using the carriage hand wheel and return the die head to the up and out of the way position. Release the foot switch and turn the switch to the off position. Remove the pipe from the machine. Safety is our first priority, and that starts with the proper use of the on-off switch and the foot switch. Learn how to operate the machine safely and properly. We want you to be a customer for a long time. This concludes the demonstration of Reed's 5401 TMSO threading machine. For more information on this machine or any of Reed's high quality products, visit www.reedmfgco.com.